Now, in this video, we are going to discuss about the navigation elements. Basically, Bootstrap gives you so many different classes with the base class called nav here so that you can actually give a customized appearance for all the navigation elements. Along with that, it will also give you some options through the helper classes which will again decorate your navigation elements over the web pages. So let's see how we can start working on the navigation elements here in the bootstrap and then we'll again continue with the same with the navigation bar in the next video. So for now, let's start working with the single navigation elements here. So as far as these navigation elements are concerned, here I'm getting started with a list like when it's about navigation, you will get several options on the top of the page several times where you will find different page links and as soon as you will click over them you will reach so that is about the hyper reference which i am not passing any in case you want you just can pass the particular page which you want to show on a particular link so let's start with that so as soon as i started with this unordered list i decorated that with the class nav this nav class will make any list as the navigation elements and the next thing which we should take care of how I want my element to appear. So here I want to make it look like tabs. All right. So the, it will be nav tabs another class provided by bootstrap. So here I have defined some list elements out here with some different text like home dot and Java Oracle bootstrap JavaScript. If in case you want to show any link as selected one as the active one, you can use the class active all right so let's execute and see how this particular page is looking like right now so this is something called the tabular uh, layout all right so this one is active all right so that's why this particular block is like selected if i'll remove this active from here and we'll put it in some other element so it will be like changed all right this is bootstrap it is only used for designing the things. If you want to do all these things uh, dynamically, you have to go for some other technologies where you can use JavaScript for doing such things like maybe J jQuery you can use as well. So that was the tabular representation of your navigation element. If you want, you can also use another class called pills. All right. So as soon as I'll, you will do that here, the appearance will be changed just a bit all right so now it's not looking like tab structure but it is highlighted similarly if you will choose the active class for any other element that will be set as a background blue all right so here you can see these menus these navigation elements are actually horizontally if in case you want to make them vertical you can use another class called nav stacked so let's put that and refresh and here you can see since the width is not defined so that's why it is taking the complete width of the page all right but in case you will use any grid system or in case you are using any table so it will just occupy that particular width which you will de designate for this all right so similarly when it was on its default appearance like when it was like the horizontal list, you can see it is not taking the complete width. So in that particular case, you can use the another class called nav justified, which will make it justified. And now this horizontal menu will also cover the available space. So this is what your justified class will do for you. So similarly, as we are using this active class for highlighting one, in case you want temporarily disable some particular link, you can do that as well. Like for example, for now, I want to disable this Java. So in that particular case, I can just use the disable class. So generally we use this active and disable class whenever we want to select or disable some particular element. So now Java is disabled, which you can see from the mouse pointer. And this one is the selected one means the active one. So these are all the things which you can do with the navigation elements in Bootstrap.